welcome to Thursday Night Football. Anthony Hudson joining you tonight. We're coming to you from the SCG. Well, half the seats are filled here today. I suspect that's as good as it's going to get. Well, joining me is the former Melbourne skipper. He played 226 games with the Demons, Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Yes, thanks, Hutto. An absolute pleasure to be here for the big game tonight. This evening's match is between Sydney and Collingwood. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. Side by side, they stick together to Today's game will be decided by the Collingwood defence. They can create intercept plays and stop the scoring. They'll win this game. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. Sydney kicking to the left of screen. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bounce. We're underway at the SCG. Winning it was Grundy. Heaney with a clean collect. At full stride, receives the handball. Dugowie dug out the loose ball. Drop punt straight through the middle. He puts through his first goal. His teammates rush over. Collingwood get the opening goal. Back in the middle. One down is in his possession. Lloyd missed an opportunity to mark. Clark just threw it. A chance to put one through for his side. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. Cut through from behind. Collingwood by seven points. Rampy deciding where to go with the kick in. Uses it by foot. Goes by foot. And the boundary line wins. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Punched away. Manages to get a hand away. Grundy. Campbell's out in front. Gets the loose ball. Sinclair gets a quick kick away. Quickly onto the boot. Sockers it forward. Goes off the deck and through. Harker kicks his first. They get around him after that effort. Sydney with their first of the match. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. The game is back underway. Punches are clear. Takes possession. Keeps it moving. Just gets it onto the boot. Finds this and marks well. 50 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. This will put Sydney in front. Goal! Celebrating hard. Sydney in front. About to resume hostilities. Tap down. Ends up with Heaney. Kennedy gets the loose ball. Beam gives it off, and now they go. Dugowie controlling the airwaves on this occasion. He drives it. Thomas gets in a good position. Moving on. 
chance right here to rest back the lead. He's enjoying that goal. Collingwood go back in the lead again. About to resume play. Wins the ruck duel. Just put it on the boot. Majacek, the better man there. Majacek has resources out wide. Opportunity once again for Collingwood to put one through. Phillips looks to get onto the football. Malikin there to mop up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Well taken at ground level. Found space for an easy mark. Franklin puts it on the boot. They chase after the loose ball. Papley takes aim. He went for broke from a long way. And it paid off. Pretty happy with that one. Sydney still back the lead. Centre bounce. Clears the contest. Didn't fumble. Kicks out of the congestion. He heads for home. Barco goes off the deck and nails the goal. That's his first. He celebrates hard after that. Collingwood goes back into the lead. We resume hostilities. Thrashes it. He's got the footy in his hands. Rampy will be upset with that. One down by Naismith. Ball collected. Dug out by side bottom. I'll have it. Thump clear. Parker spinning through brilliantly. Drives it out of the pack. A great mark taken there. Papley kicks it. Gathered by Taylor. Finds the loose ball. Hacking it out of there. Franklin takes the mark. 45 metres out. This shot should be elementary from here. Going for goal number one. Kick on the way. Scores level at the moment. Chris assessing the options. Maynard looking to track down the footy. Howe puts it out in front. Finds his man. Fights the good fight. Maynard sends one up towards the wing. Great mark. He drives it towards goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Sydney with a marginal lead. Tap came from Grundy. Bit too casual with the tackle. Sharon Berg kicks hurriedly. Heaney goes with the kick. Papley spills it. Dug out the loose ball. Just manages to release the kick. He pops through the goal. Smiles all round. Sydney, two goals up. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Back in the middle, has the rucks go at it. Grundy gets it down. Clark throws the ball away. Tries to gain some territory. Barco determined to reach the ball. He slams it towards goal. And the chance at goal is taken by Collingwood. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Cox. Collingwood bring it under a two-goal margin. One it down. Clark picks up the loose ball. Ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto. And we can just sit back and enjoy it. He's excited about that one. All locked up on the scoreboard. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Linking by hand. Dugowie couldn't snaffle it. Collects the loose ball. Off the deck. 
They can create from this. Going for goal number one. Off hands from Payne. Collingwood are happy about that one. To Goey, getting the crowd involved. The margin is six. Back in the middle now. There's the siren for the end of the quarter. The scores are Collingwood 37 to Sydney 31. Collingwood have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Collingwood have to be smarter with their ball use at times. At the moment, they're turning it over in the air too regularly for their liking. Thanks, Gaz. Players ready to start the second quarter. Back with another centre bounce. Grundy hurls it away. Parker quickly onto the boot. Langdon had it and lost it. He gives away a free for in the back. Scharenberg can link up through hands. Slams it onto the boot. He's picked up an injury. Can you tell us more, Gary? Yeah, definitely something wrong here. He's trying to get off the ground as quick as he can. Look at them celebrate that effort. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. Back in the middle to resume play. Swats it. He gets his hands on the footy. Just threw the ball. Got boot to ball. Maite takes the mark and contested. Moves the ball by foot. A solid mark from Barco. 25 metres out. Can he put it through? He bangs it through. Gets some reward for his efforts. Collingwood by six points. Hammers it. The ball spells to Pendlebury. Gathers it now. Taylor hammers it at goal. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Congratulated by his teammates. The scores are tied. Umpire ready to resume play. Thumps it clear. A chance for Thurlow. Picks up the loose ball. Majek scoops it up. Mills dug it out. Clark gets on the end of this. Wants to keep it moving. Rampy just gets it onto the boot. Majek collects the loose ball. Dugowie, hurried kick. Through for a point. Considering the options on the kick in, plays on from the kick in. Moved on by Rampy. Lloyd got under it. Drives it out of defensive 50. Rough end. Marks. Wants to keep moving. Looks to move it by foot. Kennedy drops the mark. Clark hit the man hard. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Beam steals possession. They can link up now. No issues with that drop punt. He acknowledges the crowd. The lead is now seven. We're back in motion. Clears the contest. Thurlow gathers it now. Pafley presents and takes the mark. Uses it now. Stands tall and marks. 40 metres from home. Move it on. Going for goal number one. That kick hits the post. Sydney reduced the margin. Chris weighing up the options now. Decides to play on. Haywood gets in the way. Bounces over the line. 
We'll get a ball in. Toss back into play. Ruffin thumps it forward. A quick handball from Adams. Hoskinelli marks uncontested. Puts it on the boot. Hewitt wins the ball in the air. Gets some distance on the kick. A chance to put one through here for Sydney. 40 metres from home. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. The boundary line wins this race. How heads onto the ground. Thrown in now. Thump clear. Pafley collects it. Can tie the game with this kick. It always looked close, but hits the post. Sydney now only trailed by five. Grundy considering the options on the kick here. The mark is taken by Jarenberg. Slams it on the boot. The ball finds more. Elects to kick. Sears has it. Puts boot to ball. Beam found a way to mark that one. Nice work from Trelaw. Spears the ball. Wins the race to the ball. The loose ball picked up with quick hands. The ball mopped up. He gains possession. Pendlebury just put it on the boot. He gets above the crowd. Drives it forward. Gets a quick kick away. Rampy with a short hand pass. With the ball now. He likes his chances from here. Doing well to intercept that kick. Just kicks it long. He takes the mark. Sears spears the ball. A chance to gather the ball. Might be a bit of an injury for Rampy. Gaz, what did you see there? Doesn't look good, Hutto. It's hard to see him coming back on. Handballs. Gets a hand in. Does well to keep the ball alive. A strong pack mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Dugowie was taken high in the tackle. An opportunity for a third goal. That is a stunning goal. Dugowie celebrating hard. Collingwood lead is now at 11. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Ruffin won the hit out. Squeezes out a handball. Trelaw getting in on the act. Does well to cut off the kick. Lloyd sends one up towards the wing. Good mark and looks to send it back. An intriguing first half as it stands. Collingwood, 56. Like Sydney, 45. Collingwood have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Collingwood have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it up. Second half action about to commence. Centre bounce. Grundy thumps it clear. Puts the handball out in front. Clark will be the recipient of the free. Chose to kick it. Mills failing to get near it, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Thomas hacks it out of there. Majek did well to win that ball. Collingwood for allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Trelaw going for broke now. Ball off hands. Ball is touched. And just a minus score. Rampy looking to bring it back into play. Decides to kick. Marks all alone. Hacks it forward. Majek won himself a free. Thomas moves it now. Barco gets on the end of this. Wants to go. Goes with the kick. Drops the mark. Pendlebury not getting much of it, guys. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, have not he? he loved that one. Collingwood have kicked the last three goals. 
Now they lead by 18. Collingwood, ruck work needs to be a bit better. Too many of their hitouts are getting sharked by the opposition. Charges with intent. 40 metres out. Move it on. Dawson goes for goal. Brilliant stuff. And he puts it through. Gets his first. He loved that one. Sydney still within touching distance. Naismith thumped it clear. Rough it. Can't hold on to the tackle. Links with hands. Parker keeps it moving. He wins possession. Collected by Cox. Gives the old, don't argue, with a driving kick. The mark is taken by Sear. Moves it on. Moves it by foot. Pendlebury got hands to it. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Move it on. Going for goal number three. He's really turning it on now. They get around him after that effort. Collingwood doing well at the moment. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Has a man running for him. Mills couldn't keep his hands on it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. Got hands to it. Takes the chance and says thank you very much with that goal. Trelaw loves that goal. Collingwood with a handy break. They lead the Swans 75 to 51. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Collingwood are doing a good job at cutting off the opposition attacks. Their intercept game is a key part of their defence. Fantastic pressure there. Grundy leading the ranking points on the ground. He's doing everything right. Rushes with the kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Uses it across half back. The Magpies haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Found time to get it on the boot. Grundy takes it well. He goes it alone. Slams it home. And that puts them further in front. He's enjoying that goal. Collingwood have three in a row. 30 points the difference. Grundy won the duel. Finding the loose ball was Malikin. Outstanding pressure. Mills ran it best. Mills throws the ball away. Kick box here. Turned it over. Hoskin Elliott hacks it on the boot. Putting on the bump was Malikin. The loose ball scooped up. Goes for territory. Scoops up the ball. Lloyd turns the ball over by hand. Hoskin Elliott moves it by hand. And now they're away. Takes the mark all by himself. Kennedy with a penetrating handball. Has it now. Marking in space for Franklin. Looks up with a kick. Open opportunity for Sinclair. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside kick. The ball ends up going to ground. Haywood enjoying that goal. This is how they can score big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. He did really well there and gets the reward. Collingwood are taking plenty of marks right now. They're controlling the pace of the game better than the opposition. Collingwood are winning the ball out of the clearance and are capitalising. It's much easier to score when you're always on the front foot. He's got the football now. The ball in the hands of Thurlow. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Grundy clears the contest. He has the ball. Applies a bump. Receives the handball and takes off. Franklin wins the marking contest. Elects to kick. Hewitt takes it well. 
driving kick inside 50. Heaney has a great set of hands. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number one. That's something to smile about. Celebrating hard. Sydney could kick back-to-back -back goals. Sydney, close the gap to 18. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. The game is back underway. Collingwood are taking advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Big kick required from this distance. Simply outplayed his opponent. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Trelaw heads for home. Phillips with the mark. Distance no issue. It's all about the accuracy. Kept his head and kicked the goal. No doubt about it. This kick puts them further into the lead. Gets some reward for his efforts. Gaz, what do you think about that? Collingwood fans will be hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. A high-scoring third term sees opportunity for both sides heading into the final quarter. Time to take a look at the stats. Collingwood are controlling the possession and they're using that control to hit the scoreboard. Much appreciated, Gaz. Time to find out what happens in this final turn. Oh, they're going to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Grundy with a big fist on it. Cox controlled it well off the bounce. Trelaw wins it back, kicks hurriedly. Spent it before he earned it. Lloyd charges with intent. The free kick going to Lloyd. He drives it. Takes a nice mark. Moves the ball by foot. Malikin marks in a bit of space. Hoskin Elliott wins the foot race. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. This kick has extended their lead. Smiles all round. Collingwood by five goals. We're back in the middle to resume play. Collingwood needs to be more aware of the opposition set up at the stoppage. Their hitouts are getting cut off too easily. Hewitt uses it by foot. Clean pick up by Chris. Just gave it away. Beams now heading to the bench for a break. There'll be a ball up close to goal. What can you tell us, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. The kick from Trelaw. It's marked by Thomas. Puts boot to ball. A chance to reload the attack now. Got boot to ball. A clean pickup. How wins the foot race. Hit the man hard. Moore is streaming past and gets the footy. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Now with a low spearing kick. Great mark in the pack. He gives it a ride. Nice work from Taylor. A second goal in the bag. He acknowledges the crowd. The margin a big one, but still plenty of time. We're back in the middle now. Collingwood needs to do a better job and gain more clearances at the moment. They're getting beaten in the contest and it's affecting the scoreboard. 50 metres from home. Move it on. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. Doing well with the mark. 15 metres out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. 
congratulated by his teammates. Sydney have kicked the last two goals. Sydney behind by 18. That's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. He did really well there and gets the reward. Sydney needs to make the most of their chances inside 50. They aren't getting too many of them at the moment, so they need to capitalise when given the chance. We'll get a stoppage. What can you tell us, Gas? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Collingwood need to be far more competitive with their clearance work. They can't win games that way. The ball's knocked loose. Gets it away. Sydney behind by 17. Teammates break for him. Chris decides to go to himself. Moves the ball out of defence. Intercepts the ball very well. 45 metres out. Parker lining up now on a 45-degree angle. He might kick a goal. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Goes off the ground. Gathered by side bottom. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Grundy gets onto the ball. Clark did well not to fumble. Showing some really good pressure there. Mops up the loose ball. Sinks the slipper into it. A good mark under the circumstances. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. The Magpies forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Lloyd just threw it. Grundy slams it onto the boot. Scoops up the ball. Naismith gets on the end of that handball. It's cut off by Hewitt. Gives it. Don't argue. Penetrating handball. Trying to avoid everything out there. He can take off after that handball. Trelaw links up with a chance to run. Dug out the loose ball. The handball hits the target. Sear with an easy mark. 40 metres out. They can just slow the game down now. Take a bit of time off the clock. Going for goal number one. Oh, what a goal! Look at them celebrate that effort. Collingwood with the edge right now over Sydney. Grundy just swats it away. Couldn't complete the mark. Hoskinelli already has two goals. This for a third. Pretty happy with that one. That's two in a row for Collingwood. The lead is now 23. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Collingwood haven't been winning the ball as often around the contest, but it's what they're doing after the initial contest that sees them in the lead. Use the hands and gives away the free. Cuts the kick in board. How? Found some space and marked. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. How throws the ball away. Great tackle. Big tackle. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. Kennedy will have to put everything into this one. Goes for the goals. He delivers with a drop pass. Kennedy loved kicking that one. Sydney close the gap to 17. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Sydney giving themselves a chance on the turnover, but they can't seem to be putting it on the scoreboard. Kennedy got the hands free. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. Taking a nice grab. Keeps it moving. Stabs at the kick. 
Good mark there. Pathley lines up from long range. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. An incredible victory. They were down at one stage and rallied and fought back to win. Gary, what do you make of the result? Collingwood looked poor at one stage, but they came back and had a really gutsy win. Thanks. Final scores at 105 to 89. Thanks for joining us, Gaz, but that's all we have time for. It was great to be here, Hutto. I'll be back next time.